everybody, thank you all for joining in the new video. The eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, Will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. Alright y'all, if, if you haven't seen that intro of Dying Light, Dying Light is a disease going around, I don't know where they call it, Iran or whatever. And so that's the case, and so you know there's only going to be a couple of survivors obviously, and uh, yeah, so... So I'm going to be doing this a little bit longer and then I will probably hit the hay after this because I am tired and I need, I have to work tomorrow. So there's different uh, missions in this game. Um, it's not just, you know, killing zombies and whatnot. Excuse me. There is um, missions to help people out or whatever, you know killing zombies obviously and you know getting around them around the city and whatnot there's two spots i will tra i will go to the other one so that you can see that side um i like them both um you know this is this is the side that you know you start off with uh let me see if i can get a if i can get a walker coming over here real quick Let's see if I can get this guy coming. Oh, he's not there. He's right here. Oh, I know you see me. Oh, he might catch up to me, to be honest. not the best thing and obviously you know what those things look like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to bed for a couple hours and then you know get all you know started with the situation I think I'm on like what like the 13th floor I don't care I'm not gonna go there I'm just go sleep right here wait till morning comes and you basically know night survived you know pretty common sense this game is not hard, ladies and gentlemen. It is not hard. It is the simplest thing ever. If you are into this zombie game, it is only 20 bucks. Uh, I bought it on my PlayStation, so I didn't have to, you know, insert the card and whatever. But, you know. And, you know, you get different, you know, stuff later on.
we're going to do is wait for a runner and show you what a runner is. Later on, a runner is, um, they previously just got infected, which is, you know, infected with these guys right over here. You can also, you know, pace yourself or whatever, you know, kind of blend in or whatever. What I like to do is snap the neck. It's my favorite part. Don't try to hurt me. Just snap your neck. Just snap your neck. Perfect. So, I killed two birds with one stone. Literally, and I just cut off the guy's leg. So, that is one. And obviously, you know, you gotta change yourself out. You know, you know, gotta get the new blood on, cause you know, the old blood gets after a while. If y'all are in like The Walking Dead or anything like that, you know, definitely recommend to play this. I like it a lot. Um, one of my friends actually taught me about this game. I love it. Such a great game. Ooh, I would have died on that. Lost a lot of points. So, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you have your, you know, your low health level on the top. Right below that, you have how many med kits you have. You know, there's small med kits, there's big med kits. Small med kits only handle like a portion of it. And cut off the head. Okay, so that means to, and you know, that was the, you know, the other half of, you know, doing that. Um, I hate those guys. So, what I'm gonna do is go to different ones, see what we can do. So, right now, we're just gonna stay here. So we can do all my Harry Potter game on break. Yes, everyone, I did say Harry Potter. I know it is an old thing, but hey, I am a huge nerd and I am proud of it. Uh, I might be doing a live me account. If y'all want to know what my live me account is, I am going to put it in below the comments. I'm oh, that's that's a fast run. I want y'all to be so. Here's a fast runner, you call a fast runner. You know, she likes to, you know, climb. It's either guys or girls, they'll do the same thing. You know, they'll try anything to get up on you. So, you know, see she's gonna, you know, start climbing, you know, the wall and whatnot. you and everything and you know she's standing right there as you see in the shadow right there so what I'm gonna actually do is just go right there hit that obviously she'll see me she'll know where I'm at unless she gets glitched out you know hit her a couple of times see you know there you go so you know she obviously you know glitched from that big thing play with her, you know, I released, obviously she's gonna, you know, jump on 
this side of the of the thing. Right up on the side right here. Or right behind me. You can also hear her from her human self, but other side, or you can just bash their heads half the time. So, that's one of them that, you know, you really need to watch out with. Um, the other one is with the wolf type person. You will meet them later on in the game. They don't necessarily come in straight away. Uh, it will happen... Oh, and sorry about all... You know, I'll tell you later on, but these green, blue things, you know, you can help the people out and whatnot. I'm not going to help them out because I did it before and did not like it. So, as I was saying with the wolves, I did not, um, you know, when it's nighttime, when you pass a certain level, they will come out. Um, they don't necessarily come out in this one. I will show you the other side. So what you do is you walk through here, come through here, go through the safe, jump up here. Move. And so obviously, you know, you can't, you know, buy anything or whatever, but you know. So this is the SWATs and, you know, whatever, but it's the old town. So, you know, you'll hit the old town, you know, go all down below, whatever, uh, yada, yada, yada. It will bring you to the other side, you know. I like it a lot better, you know, it's more variety of, you know, zombies and everything like that. You'll have some guys that will throw stuff at you, uh, rampage at you, you know, you have uh, this whole place, you know. This reminds me of, like, an old castle or, like, a really old, like, you know, thing. Old... Old Town basically, it, you know, basically, you know, basically goes how it is itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here, show y'all around. So this is Old Town. It's not much, but it's pretty good. I like it a lot. I already completed the game. I just, you know, did all the side missions because, you know, I haven't done them yet. But this is, like, my favorite. I'll show you all around. Yeah, there's also a certain limit that you can't pass. Um, that's the that's the one thing. Jump and we hit. So we jump, we run, kick some over. See, I can do it one more time. Run, jump. Or we just kill him. You know, we didn't kill him. <laughs> So, you know, we kicked him over. So, you know, obviously he died. You know, we won points. And now to this other one. I'm not going to deal with you. Oh, they don't ever see me. All right. I'll just shove you off. And, you know, obviously, you know, you've seen them come. Oh, by the way, you know, you're obviously, you know, going to get a lot more, you know, runners here. It is what we call them, runners. Um, they actually die pretty quick. I don't know why that happened, but hey, I'm not judging. So, you know, obviously, you know, in Old Town, you're going to see this everywhere. Yeah. You know, you hop in, whatnot, you know. You know, you try to help them out, you know, medium. Get out of here. You know, obviously self-explanatory with this. I thought I was on the floor, and that would have been a goner. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually... So, with the gambling hook, you have two lives you can do. You know, you can lose one, you lose the other. What I like to do is just use one, wait till the other one goes, and you know, you basically never have to stop. So, what you can do is here, there. I don't care about the waiting part because I can climb here. So, you know, obviously, you know, you'll see bodies on the floor and whatnot. 
you know. Get out of here. You know, slammed his head, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't know if anyone's really heard that saying before. And obviously you can jump over them. If this one didn't I'm not gonna say it because you know some kids like to watch my program, my channel. So I'm not gonna, you know, say any curse words or anything like that because you know even some people do, some kids, because their parents, you know, taught them and whatnot, but, you know, I'm just not going to say it, because I think it's, you know, unhealthy for young youth, um, but right now, I'm obviously doing it myself. Obviously, you know, I already cut off the, you know, the shoulders. So, you know, I didn't have to really deal with it, you know? If I cut off the arms, you know, they can't really do anything else. You know, obviously, you know, you're gonna have those hanging off. There we go. Cut off one arm. Just need the other arm to cut off. And when I have the other arm cut off, it is perfectly fine. I'm right down here. Didn't mean for that to happen. Alright. Um, so. Half. Okay, with doing that is really, really hard. So, you have to be like an expert on trying that. You know, there's obviously gonna be, you know, big spots. Bit, like, you know, I'm talking about big spots. You know, I mean, like, you know, getting everything. I don't know who's on. Oh, thank you for joining the broadcast. This is the, I call this the Walker, you know, sanctuary because, it, you know, it's nothing but dead people. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drop in and do a little visit on them. Drop in, wait for my thing to load. Usually you'll hear a click when that thing is over with. You know, alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a little visit. Obviously, you know, not as planned as I hoped. I could also do this and make them all die, you know. All, all the same story. Obviously, cut it right in half. Okay, he's going first. Thought I caught off one of the legs. Alright. Let's go first. Obviously, you know, you, they can get stuck up on here. Same thing, cut off the head, you know, do whatever. This game has a bunch of different weapons, you know, you can build your own weapons, do all that kinds of stuff. Some people don't really like zombies, which I don't know why, but I think it's kind of interesting. Um, so, what we're going to do is... Alright everyone, I am going to go. I have, you know, later on stuff to do. I will probably do a video later on tomorrow, definitely. Uh, it's probably going to be more Fortnite. Uh, thank you all for joining in the broadcast, the two live broadcasts that I have been. Don't forget to hit that share button, like the video. If you all want to see me do more gaming, definitely hit the comments below. I will be glad to do it. You know, I have a lot of games that I like to do. And see you next time.